We have two vocational high schools here in the area, uh, cranking out uh, about 200 accountants a year. And there's no jobs for accountants in this area. Maybe it would be about for three or four, but not for 200. So we identified the problem is actually we don't have people here with technical capacity to, uh, to work in their own development. What we are kind of focusing on is scientific research. Uh, well, everything that goes along with biology and science because of the natural resources we have. Actualmente en la zona es un atractivo turístico donde muchas de las personas o de los propietarios locales Eh, han desarrollado actividad de turismo, de cabañas para descansar, descansar eh, senderos donde tú puedes visitar y caminar, eh, pero que actualmente por el gorgojo han visto afectados las sus propiedades y han talado muchas de sus de sus fincas. We're in a very agricultural area. Um, there's a lot of people who need soil samples done. We need to have uh, tissue samples done to know what diseases are going on with their plants. Um, and something like that just does not exist in this side of the country. Eh, creo que es importante traer la ciencia eh, más cerca de la gente. Eh, la ciencia no solo tiene que estar en, en la escuela o en los centros eh, educativos, sino que también puede estar en, en otro tipo de, de instituciones donde toda la gente pueda llegar, donde la gente pueda tener de cerca a la ciencia y entender por qué la ciencia es importante en su vida cotidiana. Eh, cómo es importante saber los fenómenos naturales, cómo la ciencia puede ser eh, utilizada para, eh, en proyectos productivos y en la economía de, de una sociedad. Recently, the beetles have consumed and killed all the pine trees and the pine forest that is here. So he had the wonderful idea to create a project of forest restoration and particularly particularly of pine trees and we expect first of all to plant pine trees the next year but this year we are going to have a nursery and eventually we'll, we will also create new alternatives to protect the forest against the beetles. All the students are going to be going through kind of basic ABCs of science course, how the scientific, how the scientific method works, how basic laboratory work is done. Um, and for those who are interested, they are going to be able to do an advanced diploma in, um, in their high school career to focus on lab work. Um, so it's a great jumping off point for, for work in uh, laboratory technician stuff, which is a, actually a pretty in-demand field in El Salvador right now. We're working on it right now with the National University. Uh, we're going to be doing a, uh, a diploma the way a, a certified program in microbiology. Uh, we're, we're looking at the genetic uh, genetics in cacao. We're going to start with cacao. That's, a, that's an item here. Um, and that's one of the cultural uh, plants we have. Siempre quiero que que la gente le te, no le tenga miedo a la ciencia, que la gente tenga eh, ese deseo y de aprender más, porque eso le va a fomentar eh, las ganas de seguir estudiando, eh, de seguir formándose para un futuro mejor, para de alguna manera también fomentar eh, vocaciones científicas en los estudiantes, que no solo se queden en eh, un trabajo normal, sino que puedan aspirar a ser científicos y a crear conocimiento eh, y que sea importante para resolver los problemas de, de nuestro país. We're looking at the, the creation of a hub of development. It's not just a school, it's a, it's a development program with a school in it. I guess it's the easiest way to explain it.